In this example, we are being asked, what is the measure of side PQ? Side PQ is up here in this triangle, which is not a right triangle, triangle PQS. And we don't have enough information to solve triangle PQS because we have one side and one angle, and that is not enough to use either sine law or cosine law. So we are forced to move down and work with triangle QRS, which does have enough information to allow us to solve it. QRS is a right triangle, and we know angle R, which is 49 degrees, and side QR, which is 100. Therefore, we know an angle and its adjacent side, and what we would like to find in this situation is the opposite side. We could also find the hypotenuse, but that's not going to help us to solve the triangle on the top. The opposite side to angle R is side QS, and that side happens to be shared by the two triangles. This is a TOA situation. We can do tan of 49 degrees is equal to opposite X over adjacent 100, and it will look like this. Once we fill in our TOA formula and solve, we end up with side QS being 115.0368 units in length, if we round off to four decimal places. Now that we know side QS, we look at the upper triangle PQS and we realize that we have two sides and the included angle. This is a cosine law situation. We don't have enough information to do sine law. So we fill in our cosine law formula like this. Naming our unknown side PQ as side A in the cosine law formula, that makes PS and QS our side B and our side C. So we fill in our cosine law formula with those two sides and with angle 47. As we solve, this is what it looks like. We end up with a squared equal to 8073.3886 if rounded to four decimal places. And that means that side QS is equal to 89.8520 units in length. All along, I have been rounding off to four decimal places when I read it down on my paper. But I am really using the full value in my calculator for my calculations. The question asks me to round off to the nearest hundredth. So 89.8520 rounds off to 89.85. And since no unit of measure was given in the question, I use units as my unit of measure.